Yeah! <laughs> Alright. We didn't uh, didn't intend on including the yeah. setup <laughs> in the warm up here, and All then right. we uh, get the we didn't agree and pause didn't intend there, so we don't get an echo, and we're good to go. I am looking to play some Gone Home. Before we get into the game, this is going to be my intention new daily show from. 7 p.m. EST for an hour or so. This is just my sort of test period this week. I'm gonna have something different each day, some recurring themes already got, some StarCraft Wednesdays lined up. We'll see if that sticks. As it is, we're gonna kick it off by playing Gone Home. Got this on the recent Steam sale. Hardly know a thing about it. It just looked interesting based on the singular sentence I read about it. So hopefully this is going to turn out well. Now I did just go ahead and not bother setting anything up ahead of time. Just gonna roll with it here. Let's just go with it. New game. Use arrow keys or WASD to walk. Look around using the mouse. Gotcha. Cassette tape. Old school right there. Do, like, do cassettes count as completely, like, where do cassettes fall now? Are they completely unknown relics Hi, of the past? Uh, so I got or, my ticket home from I Europe. Know. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Interesting voicemail. You really, really, really don't have to pick me up. Really. Don't have to. Shouldn't. Seriously, stay away from the car. Okay, June 7th, 1995 at 1.15 a.m. Oh, wow. Okay, we gotta, we gotta adjust the mouse sensitivity because I am like... Okay, I... We do not, this is not Counter-Strike. Right, come on. Alright, uh, controls, mouse sensitivity, let's, let's bring that way down. Let's see how that is. Zoom. Okay, that's, that's way better. Maybe it is Counter-Strike. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's see. We got a bag here. What? That guy's... He looks pretty nice. Uh... Hitlin Greenbrier. I guess that's who had the voice message. Don't be there. Impossible. Okay. I guess we're Katie. Caitlin Briar? What was it? Greenbrier. Greenbrier. Alright. <laughs> don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone <laughs> mom and dad crossed out. You know, if it was just them. You know, little trust. Come on. I could know. I don't have to blab. Alright, alright. Someday. What? What? Don't worry. You use the phrase someday. We'll see each other someday. That is not appropriate language for not worrying. All right. All right. I'm already digging. I'm already digging. Grab cup. Put back. Okay, my work is done here. Uh, can we turn on? Yeah. Just some light in here and see what is going on. See up the window. Can we go outside? Okay. Go. No, it's not going to let us go outside. Let us go outside. Alright, let's just go. Alright. Lock. Lock. Okay, do I have my keys in my bag? Hmm. Is there a, is there a pocket button? Is there a reach in my pocket and get my keys button? Because I can't go through that door, and I can't go through this door. It's a dark and stormy night. It's a little cliche. It's a little bit, a little bit, right now. 
Um, I can break through the window, I can crouch, and I and jump is the J is for journal, not for jump, okay? C is for crouch, but so is control, okay? Nice, I don't have to rebind that. So again, not really Counter-Strike. Um, Christmas lights. Grab Christmas duck. Okay, I'm- oh! I found the key under the Christmas duck! Aw oh, yeah! It's under the duck! It's always the duck, never trust a duck. Alright, unlock door, in we go. Okay, can't, I, I want to close that- where'd the door go? Close that door. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Okay, got passport. Hey, there I am. 1973 is in 1995, so I am 22. Alright. Hidden under the old Christmas duck. I had a nickel for every time I said that. You know, just grab the tissue box and cry. Uh, close. Oh, map. Directions to work from new house. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn. Exit on to 47N, right on to 202 East. Entrance right past Wage Road. Imagine you gotta be making good money if you're on Wage Road. You, if, you're, if you're a company on Wage Road, you gotta be paying well. Or you're just gonna be mocked mercilessly. The jokes will never stop. Travel time, one hour, ten minute, question mark, exclamation mark. It, 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 it seems that he considers that commute just utterly outrageous. The hour and ten minute commute is a bit long. A bit long, not, not, not crazy though. I've seen worse. Alright, uh, what are we doing? It, Here's the problem I have right now. The game tells me don't snoop. So what if I want to just listen to him? Can I just go to bed? So he said don't snoop. Gotta just give him the benefit of the doubt. Two or M to check location in the house. Okay. Alright, I, I don't... Yeah. Home, who personal calendar. Is this my house, or, like, is it snooping to look around my own house? I don't know. Cross, ballroom, dancing, cooking class. These are active people. Couples. What is that word? Drooling? Couples. Bonding? Binding? Brining? Bowling? I think it's bowling. So Monday they bowl, Wednesday they have a cooking class, Friday they have ballroom dancing. Man, suddenly I'm feeling even worse about my own daily life. Alright. Even the virtual people have much more active lives than myself. Alright. Examine form, temporary personal transfer, Bruce Pendleton, head of personal state forestry service. There's an, up, there's an upcoming prescribed burn operation. Oh, okay. What? I, I'm, I don't even, I don't even know. Let's just close that, I don't trust that drawer. Is there like a light switch? Gotta be a light switch, there we go. This is not a horror movie. Alright. Okay, that's somebody's room. We don't have a radiation area. Alright, who, who, who's got the radiation area? Do we have kids? Like... <laughs> we've got a dung... Like, what is this room? Is... Okay, this has to be a kid's room. We've got... S oh, SNES games! What's SNES games? Super Spitfire. I don't think that's an actual game. Uh, what game is this? Journey of Crystal.
Grab Steggy? Steli? We don't remember the name. Oh, how nice. We don't remember the name of our own child's toy. Ah. Come on now. Alright, let's close that door. I don't know, that, that looks like a... Like, this kid has got to be... Probably 8 to 12, I'd say? And we're only 22, was it? Is, yeah. So this kid, like, how is... This timeline is not matching up. I really wish I weren't going into this like I had amnesia. Uh, Sam, stop leaving every damn light on in the house. You're as bad as you- oh, there's a sister too? Uh... Maybe that's my brother, that might make more sense. Is that- So we're trying to find our dad? I don't know. Uh, Daniel... Who's Daniel? I don't remember the- Wait, Sam... I thought Sam was the one- Sam was the one who left the note, so I guess Sam's our brother then? But is that... I don't want anybody... We'll see. I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going back to the note because I want to figure out who's who. Because the, the ages here are not really matching up. Did I leave that note for myself? I'm confused. Okay. Don't find out, mom and dad. Don't... Okay, maybe this is like a... Th okay, I'm gonna guess this is a note from like a... 13 year old or 10 10 to say 11 year old brother okay okay we figured that much out so I have no idea how old I am now oh wait no I I have a yes I do 22 we already established this come on brain just because the game has amnesia doesn't mean I have to uh flowers steal a painting I steal a painting I can, I can grab a painting so am I, do I really need to look for Sam? I guess he ran away from home and he looks like a kid, so I guess I have to find him. To whom it may concern, I am Samantha Greenbrier. Oh! It's a, not a boy, it's a girl, Samantha. Okay. Two girls, alright. Seventeen? I guess I could buy it. That was a much yeah. There, I to be I guess to give them credit, they're certainly not stereotyping. I took this room to be a, a twelve-year-old boys, and it's a seventeen-year-old girls. Good yeah, good going guy. Good going developers. You're you're certainly not pushing it, Emma. Jane Austen, huh? With some Jane Austen Jungle Book, some nice some nice uh, public domain literature going on over here. All right. Okay, if she's 17, I don't I don't need to go find her. Like she can make her own decisions. Okay, so an independent, fully functioning human being. Oh, I I don't know if I try and read. All right. I, Samantha Greenbrier, I'm 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three, bracket, parentheses, three years older than me. Wait a second. Can I? Wait. 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 The beginning, it said 1995. This is... This is date of birth 73. I'm 22 by that calculation. If she's 17, there's a discrepancy. Is this three or five years? Huh? Or is that a fake ID? Is this a fake ID? It's a passport. I did not fake a passport. All right. I'm looking at you, game, and I want some continuity. I guess to be fair, Samantha may just be really, really bad at math or not know her own age. But wait, let's uh, keep going. Older than me. I. Older than I, Sam. Get your grammar together. And yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. 
I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe, pally underscored city on my own like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter Samantha. <laughs> okay. Every piece of information gets more confusing. Alright, what what room is this? Is this my room? Earth, Wind and Fire and Willie Nelson. <laughs> 1982. Uh how do we tell whose room this is? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and Fugitive. Good movies. Alright. All the presidents, men. The Sound of Music. And... I can't read what that is. Alright. Man, I could just keep looking around and... Not get anywhere. I still don't know what exactly I... It, I'm probably supposed to find... Probably supposed to find Sam. Okay, this tells me I'm in mean, Mom and Dad's room. Alright. This is the bathroom. Yeah. All right, toothpaste. I can grab the toothpaste, can I? But I... cool. I even read the who's cinnamon. I want cinnamon. I want cinnamon toothpaste. That was awesome. All right. Uh, okay, get some like DNA samples off the comb. That might be a bit much for my. Ugh. What is ugh? After <laughs> Oh, that's great. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Leave that. Alright. Turn off the light. I read the note. Turn off the light. All right, all right. Uh, we got another light switch. Where are we now? Guest room. Ghost Hunter Journal. Oh man. <laughs> Ghost milk. Ooh. Oh, shadow in the upstairs hall when I, I... I'm not... I, I better not have to take this seriously. <laughs> A tall shadow upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1994. A voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said... Hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. <laughs> September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. October 9th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. October 22nd, 1994, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. October 28th, 1994, 10 p.m. to October 29th at 4 a.m. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence, Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Probably leaky roof. Probably due to leaky roof. Nice touch, developers. Sample taken, just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. That was constructive. I think that I think that gave me a lot of insight. Hey Sam, you're asking what 
my J Rot ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me a certified killing machine and adventure training. I, I am a born adventurer, and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Bonnie D. I think this is all Lonnie's fault. We've got our first suspect. What's this on the floor? Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home in such short notice they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. Okay, so I don't have a room anymore. Uh... So I just take over Sam's room. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Steggy. It's Steggy. Yes, it's the Stegosaurus. Ah, it says Steggy on there. Come on, you can figure this out. I'm starting to think Katie is not so bright. Alright, uh, I want to believe. Yes, NC. I'm gonna be off. Uh, alright, I'll snoop. I'll snoop because I can't just go to sleep, apparently. Uh, where is a light switch? Poorly designed room. Apparently I don't have a light switch, only a lamp. Here. Oh man. Zero, 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 zero. One, two, three, four. Alright, I'm gonna have to snoop and figure it out. Unless she's really lazy and just made it 119, because it's locker 119. Okay, now. Oh man, are we gonna have some classic references here? We got some Jodie Foster. Uh, I forget who that is, but she's in 90210, I think. Uh, can't tell. I I'm not. I'm not the best at my 80s references. Uh, even early 90s, apparently, I'm not that great. All right, stare. Wait, does this? Maybe this will tell me the. Can I figure- no. I'm not gonna. Let's open this door. Mouse acceleration in this is really messing with me. <laughs> Can I turn that off? There we go. Oh. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Okay, if mess acceleration isn't on, I have to bring up the mess sensitivity? Yeah. Oh, it, it sticks to... That's what's screwing with me. It sticks to things. Alright. Hmm. Can I, like, take a cartridge and put it in a, a SNES? Did she take... Did she take the SNES? Adventurous the cat returns. He took the SNES. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ratmobile cool schmool. 
I like open the doors on the back? Alright, alright. Nothing. Drawer, nothing. Grab the binder, but can't open the binder. Alright. Hello, nope. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. Oh, man. They had to make a beeper reference. And pager reference. But we're cooler than them. Cooler than they are. Grammar Slam! Because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. There's two cats on a motorcycle. Yeah. Other side. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's the 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 various notes and little details is neat, but it's also slowing progression significantly because there's a lot of useless stuff. Working C my it's not challenging assignment, male plaque, family portrait, subject, but not class, uh, mom and when I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. <laughs> Show more pride in work. Uh come on. Uh brochure. Building a motorcycle, apparently. Grab a racer, put back. That was handy. There's a fork on the floor. Come on. Yeah. Ah, well, close enough. What's in that? Uh, some timely references going on over here. I need to figure out what the combination is. That Sam had this in like fourth grade. Okay. Good board game. Let's play the game. Got your number. Oh, this is the metalworking plaque, isn't it? Oh, no. No, it's not. It doesn't say. It doesn't have mom and dad on it. S for, S for A for adorable, M for Mary, A for affectionate, N for nice, T for thoughtful, H for honest, A for admirable. And here it is stored in a dark corner. How's that? Uh, something I got there. I don't think it's that. Uh, where's the door? I think I'll turn off the sticky thing too, it's annoying. Okay. There's gotta be something. Ha! Chun Li moves! Wait a minute, there was no Street Fighter there. Maybe that's the secret. I have to find the Street Fighter cartridge. Hmm. I feel like I've gone through this. Read clipping. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. This is Blaylock. Off of pre-college. Explore and learn. Even highlighted it and everything. Plate, three ring binder. Oh, hey, Vader's in the chat. I should have been paying more attention to this. Close to finding the parents' sex tapes. I found their post honeymoon bring back the heat magazine. Kind of awkward. 
I don't know, there's a lot of stuff to click on, but nothing interesting. Uh, it's another soda. There's a lot of full soda cans around here. At least they should be empty. Alright, I'm leaving the lights on. I'll blame it on Sam. Alright, did she leave a note for the parents? Grab postcard. Okay. Postcard from England. Poster. Can I make a call? No. Okay. Remage through all of the clothing and stuff. What's with the what's with the absent DVD players and systems? Do they steal them? Like what is this? Why am I alone? Mitten. Ah, uh, mitten. Drawn at age five. Drawers. Nope. 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 So this is one of those click everything games, apparently. I may just be completely missing the point here. All right, let's see. This seems like a very not relevant letter that is kind of sad and doesn't need to bring down the mood. All right. Uh I'm not sure why this was on already. Watercolor techniques. Alright, that's handy. Thanks. Ah. Uh, oh. I'm already in here. Alright. Check out the map. Where have we not been? This is kind of hard to read the map because there's no indication of me specifically or where I'm looking. Alright, where am I now? Okay, I just walked out, so I want to go left. Okay, this is the guest room. Oh, attic. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. But... You left! Ah! I want to follow directions, but it's... It's suggesting I shouldn't easel. So this is the painting room where those watercolors are applied. Another cassette player. I wonder if I took the cassette I could take it from the other room over into here. Performance evaluation for Richard Petermach. Oh, this is evaluation. Indispensable during the course. Burn preparation. Oh, so she works for the, uh, burn, for the, whatever, whoever handles the burn thing. Can't, can't you, you're, you're enjoying my impeccable diction. Of which I am famous. Alright. What is this? Healthy choices. A skillful life. That looks like it hurts. Sewing table? Ooh. Can we do some sewing? No. Probably close the sewing table, but I don't think I can. What's done is done. It's like playing GTA and just feeling the impulse to drive the speed limit. I just gotta close every door and... Alright, let's head... Alright, let's go in the attic. You didn't want me going in there, Sam. You shouldn't have made it all fancy. You shouldn't have made it all tempting and... with all those bright red lights. Alright, where are you? This is blinking. Okay. I mean, look at this. Oh, it's locked. Clever girl. Hmm. 
Map. Map me. Ooh, this room. Take a right, and then a left, and then another left over here. I don't turn. Oh, wow, that does not look good. That is a problem. Well, unless that's hair dye, apparently. Oh, well. Alright, the old switcheroo on me. Misdirection. Misdirection. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Apparently so were the cleaning product, because who's going to clean up this mess? This one's broken. That's certainly a very different dynamic, a different spin they put on this one. Very bored. Cleansing powder. There's something in here. It was under the duck, remember? Makes me wonder if this is kind of like about conservative parents or something. Hmm. I have to figure out this locker combination though. I don't know where though. Hmm. Tricky. Alright, that's everywhere upstairs, so I guess we're gonna go downstairs. Yeah. To the end of the hall, and then to the right. And then to the left. No run button, I suppose, huh? Greenbrier, senior conserv conservationist. I'm impressed that they that, at the idea for the job because it's so like, not something you would think of as okay. What should be the career of this person? Senior conservationist. Though I guess if you're talking about conservative parents, making them a conservationist is kind of funny. Hmm. Okay. So I went to Amsterdam, Zurich, Milan, Paris, London. So it's. So I guess it's just straight to Amsterdam. I couldn't have possibly gone to all of those places. I wonder if there's anywhere other than Amsterdam. Oh, nice. 
Sam. Sam. <laughs> Hello. Sam. I don't know whose voice that is. Is that mine or Lorraine's? Hi, Mom. Uh, or, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, that was that one. I'm, or what was the, uh... I've already forgotten the other person's name. Lonnie. Lonnie. Mixed up the L word. Alright. <laughs> it's not what I meant. <laughs> uh. I, I love the writing. Because this is like so... Like this, it's like so neat, neat for the mom writing, and then it's just this kind of chicken scratch. That looks like a lot like, let's see, Katie looks kind of like Allison Pill, who is, uh, is it Cat? Not 100% sure on the name, uh, in, in, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Okay, so what's through here? The postcards from there. Ooh. Care. Was that. That was Lonnie, I think, because he was in the arm. Unless I read that wrong. Uh. I'm not sure what. The obituary is about. Got to be something on this side, huh? No? Alright, what's in this room? What do we got? Oh man, this is old school. Alright, examine paper. What? This is an advertisement for it. Why would you use it just to type out an advertisement for the same machine? Okay, really not. Nothing. Okay. Nothing important. What? What if JFK wasn't JFK? What is going on here? So this guy is a JFK conspiracy theorist? Alright, starting to get a bigger picture. About what's going on in this family. Okay, insurance. Huh. Okay. 
or combinations. <laughs> Uh, anything interesting? Not really. Wait a second. <laughs> is this guy... So is the, uh... So is the JFK conspiracy theorist... Okay, let's read this sentence. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seam seemed to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator then he passed out <laughs> so is he so is the JFK conspiracy theorist also writing er, science fiction erotica I think he is All right, uh, what direction is right here? Let's switch. If they threw... Now, if they threw out a pop-out scare, like, at some random point while just wandering through the house, not even expecting this to be a horror game, that could get me. 90210, does anybody still care? Oh, that is, that is tough. That, that is just mean. A lot of books. We'll study here. Stranger under my roof. Number one advice book. Let's see. Man, he's getting torn up here. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write the stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss. I don't know why I'm generating a southern accent, but by dang nabbit, I'm just gonna be this angry, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. Ah, there's a Home Theater Aficionado Magazine? Ah, those were the days. Something hidden back here. No, nothing. I don't know why I felt the need to go like this to try and look behind the... It's not connect. I don't have a connect here. That is some loud thunder. Close the door. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Ah. Huh. What is with this? Every DVD player or system or... Not DVD at this point. VHS player. 
the Super NES, they're all unhooked. It's all just RCA. This is the most disconcerting they, thing they in this in ha weather. entire house, is oh, that weather. Weather. all of the media weather. players, the, the Super weather. Nintendo, weather. the VHS weather. players, they're all unhooked, and we just got weather. raw RCA weather. cables weather. sticking out. Weather. Who went through weather. all the trouble to take and those? Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure That is just not system. right. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Aww. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. That's where the notes are from. They're playing the arcade Street Fighter. I didn't even consider the possibility of arcade Street Fighter. What's wrong with me? Well, I guess if we're getting these uh, kind of audio narratives, we're getting, we're making progress by just looking at things, reading things. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County. Terry, hey man, how you been doing? Don County. In as soon as I did that voice, completely forgot how to read. Just completely lost it. I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at High Five Aficionado is too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. That's your thought of you. You were saying in your cast letter how about how much pain has been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some this records. Weather the Northwest weather <laughs> records. And write up how it sounds. And then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor. Tell him your old college... CNOM? Old college... Chum! Chum! Mike sent you! Here's the address! Do it! Mike! Do it! That was 1978! He has a letter from Mike 1978! He's been doing... Those... <laughs> He's been writing for the Stereo Home Theater Aficionado magazine for 15 years, 17 years, I guess. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Hmm. Okay, he wrote a book about JFK. But he's still got everything on his wall about JFK. Th that was in 1963. This has been hanging there for for 30 years. The Northwest Weather Service reports high Wait a second. What's the publishing date on this? County, Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. The Heaven at the Edge of the World. Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. 
Oh, the heaven. The heaven at the edge of the world. Okay. This is a severe weather warning. The northwest weather Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. County, or so it Boston seemed. County, Someday she would find Boston the edge County, and get to the paradise the there. County. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! All windows and doors. That TV is the really distracting. At lower it was the black pirate ship. She yelled. I thought we lost him at Horse Island! The first mate said. Looks like you fought too soon. <laughs> I don't know why the first mate's a pirate. <laughs> the black ship came up it, it along the side. Weather. Captain Black himself came on the deck of the black she yelled to Captain Allegra. You're never gonna find the edge! There ain't no paradise and your father was a liar! Captain Allegra yelled back. Then why are you following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out. We'll st <laughs> We'll stop you! Captain Black! We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see your father was no liar! The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said. This a little a deep for a lady's voice. The Northwest Weather Service and the ship sailed toward the sunset. The following county, Austin county, well then, county, with Austin that county, lovely ending, we can call it a day. This, is, this was our first game played here on Monday, Gone Home. Then grab that off of Steam during the recent Steam sale. Looks interesting adventure game. Kind of strange to, s to gauge the progression, but we'll get back to it. Kind of liking it so far. It's a little different. I don't play a whole lot of adventure games. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions.